is Max Access, where Mackenzie Barwell takes you closer to members of Forge FC off the pitch on the Forge Audio Network. Oh, we're already off to a really good start. Yeah. Oh, is, are we jumping right we're in? We're jumping right in. All right. So Welcome. you're just taking a, a page out of our podcast. I huh? feel like you, you're... Unbelievable. <laughs> You know how to do this by now, though. Pretty you much know? a seasoned vet. You're a seasoned vet. Do you feel like you've learned a lot from the podcast so far? Yeah. I've learned I sit very awkwardly. Right. And, so, like, yeah. when it's just one-on-one, it's really hard to just, like, stare at someone and yeah, have a just, conversation. Yeah. So this should be <laughs> good, then. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> nice. Okay, so, so far, I've already done a few things wrong. Um and let's let's just address the computer, okay? I've got a lot of questions lined up, and I can't go off the dome fully, so you'll have to cut me some slack and let me. Hey, it's your it's this is your thing. Do whatever you want. I'm here for you. <laughs> I felt like it was only fair. I came on yours, you know. You got to come on mine. Yeah. So. I mean, I feel like I've done a few of yours. No, but, but this is different. This is Max <laughs> Access. Oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. So it's so like... you didn't even tell me what we were doing. Sorry. Right? Let me... Wow. Wow. This is so bad. This is going good. This is going really good so far. Okay, so as the interviewer, I'm just going to give you the context that you need to succeed in this interview. In Something life. that you didn't really do for me when I came on to Throw you in the deep end. I didn't know what to expect. I yeah. sat down and... You, ca- you came with a great story, though. Everyone learned something new about you. I tried. I yeah. tried all night long. Tried I, your best not I, to get this job. I, and you got it. <laughs> yeah. And you're thriving. So yeah. I actually talked to Dave about that the next yeah. day. He well, was he it was he's very funny about the way that he approaches in like um meetings. He's methodical. He, yeah, he's like, Mac, I need to talk to you. And yeah. I'm like, oh shoot. <laughs> shoot. He definitely listened to the podcast where I said I didn't want to take the job at first. But yeah, every week I feel like he's gonna say, Yeah, the podcast is it's, done. It's, <laughs> it's all she wrote. You guys push your luck. Don't even bother. <laughs> Each week, we just cross our fingers and hope yeah. the captain's log lives to see another day. That's it. And so far, it has. Yep. All of the the viewer that we have is the keeping this thing going. Just the one viewer. The one. <laughs> Who do you think's your one? It's Corey. <laughs> it's, it's the man behind the camera. <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is this is Max Access, though. Like I said, different awesome. than Forge Daily. We're not talking anything soccer. We're purely purely vibes on Max Access. Vibes actually. Only. All right. So it's like more so get to know you questions, keeping it chill. Cool. I will say, um, I talked to your mom actually. Oh yeah. Yeah, the last uh, last game. She's a nice lady. She is a very nice lady. I think she's a bigger fan of my content than she is yours. Probably that checks out. I think she's a bigger fan of everyone else than me. <laughs> yeah. Well, all I have to say is that you know your one viewer is Corey and not your mom, so let that be. Uh, there, I was a never sign. betting old on old Debbie Becker to be. She's. <laughs> She said she liked it, so hopefully, if Debbie, if you're watching this one, shout out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep you in. <laughs> keep you in, please. Yeah. My stuff and not Kyle's. Okay, are you ready? Yep. Gonna get start with some hard hitting questions here, okay? Our earliest memory, what is it? Think as far back <laughs> as you can and give me your earliest memory. Uh, this one's actually this one's funny, so I'll go with this one. Okay. So uh, we had some like close family friends who had a. Uh, Two sons and a daughter, like similar age of of me, my brother, and my sister. How old and do you think you were at this point? Like three, maybe, maybe younger. Wow. Okay. Three. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And so we were we were going to uh, I forget where we were exactly. I think we were going down to the beach or something. But we split up in two different vans, and I was driving with them, and we were going, and I don't even know where we were at this <laughs> point, but apparently I was very adamant that uh, the driver Glenn had missed the turn. And it was real, real quiet. And I'm just in the back and I'm tiny. And then all of a sudden, I'm like, <laughs> where are you going, Glenn? You missed the goddamn turn. You said yeah. that? <laughs> yeah. You said that? Yeah. I mean, I pretty much just said anything like my older brother and sister oh, was saying true, at the time. True. So I was just copying all them. And yeah, apparently uh, Glenn almost drove off the road. Do you? No idea who the hell, who said it. <laughs> just scared everyone. It was three-year-old Kyle yeah. Becker. And then... Uh, the mom, Julie, was pretty adamant that I was like, something was wrong with me. I was like, what's going on with this kid? Why is he saying all this stuff? It was pretty good. <laughs> Why is he all of a sudden talking? Yeah, this kid went from not saying anything to like full sentences. That's and crazy. Cussing people out. <laughs> <laughs> Has Benny, uh, you know, no. any words he likes yet? The, he always like flips the middle finger when he's sleeping. <laughs> oh, that's, he, that's pretty good. When so, he's sleeping. Yeah, so I'm always like taking pictures of that. It's pretty good. 
<laughs> you actually said something funny to me the other day about it because it can be frustrating when he won't sleep, but then he like cracked his like yeah. cracked a smile, laughed or something, and then yeah, so he just melt every single time. We like every one of his like big milestones is always followed after like the night from hell. <laughs> And I feel like he just, like, pushes us to the brink, and then he's like, all right, I'll give you some. So, like, the first time he smiled was, like, the night before. He, like, would not go to bed. He was screaming. He was a little colicky at the very beginning, too, which was which was tough. But, like, yeah. we were both ready to just, like, toss him out. I'm like, all right, we're done with you. <laughs> and then he, like, gives us that first smile, and I was like, ah, you're <laughs> All is uh, forgiven. Yeah. All of a sudden, it doesn't matter. And then it was, like, another, like, real tough few days, and then he laughed for the first time. And it was on my birthday, too, so, like, that was pretty sweet. Happy birthday, Dad. Pretty much the best present of all time. There you go. Yeah. Do you think, um, you know, like, Halloween's coming up. Are you, you going to put him in, like, a pumpkin costume or something yeah. like that? Me Have you and, thought about that? We were, me and my sister were actually talking about yeah. that the other day of what we're going to do. I don't know. we got to think of something funny. I it's feel tough. like there's a, there's a lot of options for baby Halloween costumes. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. I did a, a chicken one, one year. and I have You a, were a chicken? I, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, recently or when you were a baby? <laughs> I was a baby. Yeah, nice. But How's I, that? <laughs> it was for, cute? I think it was really cute. Like all of these costumes. Oh, it, made, it made the fridge? Or just, yeah, totally. Nice. I think it's actually, that's why I say it because I've seen the photo so many times of me in this chicken costume. I'm actually really disappointed in my childhood Halloween costumes. I found out, uh, we got this one picture. My sister has it on her fridge. Yeah. My parents let me be Robin instead of Batman. What kind of nonsense Debbie. is that? It's out of control. So. I don't know. I, got, I think there's some questionable decision making in the old Becker household. At least, at least you know that going into your just parenthood, like yeah, you, you never want to find out that you were Robin and not Batman. <laughs> <laughs> Benny, you will never be Robin. Yeah, yeah I feel <laughs> like people see that there's like avocado. It's like a yeah, staple, yeah, I feel like. yeah. Anytime a they're like, yeah, pumpkin. Oh. He doesn't seem like a pumpkin kind of guy though. No. I don't know what he would be. It's this is a tough one. You're gonna have to think about this. Yeah. Well. Now you now you know the thought process is going. You can start brainstorming. Yeah. So if any forgers out there want to throw out some some ideas. Oh yeah. Okay. See, comment down below. Come now. on. Come on. You're Keep welcome. the fans engaged. You're welcome. Corey, do you have anything to contribute on that on that before we move on? So you're also gonna steal that from our Whoa. podcast too. Yo, what? <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. I'm just kidding. Do you Corey, actually? What? Talk to Corey? Yeah. All of the time. Okay. I would just like to say that Corey and I were a team before you before he was ever involved in the How long have you been so. at Forge? <laughs> <laughs> we go back. Yeah. Okay, listen, listen. Try that again. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I just got humbled. <laughs> humbled. Never mind. Okay, it's fine. On the Robin note. Yeah. The Batman and Robin movie, Robin was the sickest guy though. He was like the old like the old ones? Yeah. Like Maybe that's what it is. Because when I saw like Bane, Robin stinks. That guy's the worst. Third Rock from the Sun, dude? Totally. Not for me. But <laughs> We're going to go with Corey on this one. Robin used to be cool. And I <laughs> maybe, I, maybe I was ahead of my sure. time. So at the time, at the time, it was cool. Looking back, maybe in hindsight, not so much. Yeah. Don't, okay. Don't meet your heroes. <laughs> Let's move on, okay? <laughs> Let's move on. Remember that one time we talked about um, other sports that you would have liked to play if you weren't playing professional soccer? What I go You with? said baseball for the yeah. money. Yeah. Is that statement still true? No, I don't like that answer at all. The money's pretty sweet. Also, like, playoff baseball is awesome. Yeah. Every I went to my day. first Jays game, actually, the other day. Yeah? Good experience. How was uh, the... Was uh, there a lot of people there? Yeah. Yeah, but see, like, when it's packed and it's, like intense it's so much of a different game yeah but like i really just think hitting a home run in baseball would be the greatest thing mm -hmm. ever but then all the other stuff just kind of like it's maybe like a like couple a couple double plays would be pretty sweet nice yeah then but that's uh, all i think need, i need though. to yeah i probably gotta i might be biased but yeah a forge game at tim hortons field kind of kind of better i mean I than think the jays the sport's just a little different <laughs> A little bit more, a little bit more exciting, I would say. I okay, I remember this. You, you I'd said it. You put me on the spot. Like I think everyone would be like, "Oh, Canadian, you're gonna say hockey," but like, I know I wasn't that good at hockey, so I didn't want to say it. Did you play hockey as a kid? Just road hockey. I just literally only hockey. played soccer. I would oh, play like other sports okay. in school and stuff, but like all See, I ever wanted to do, like seriously, was soccer. You never really had to make a decision as to what sport you wanted to I'm, pursue. I made the decision pretty early. Oh, okay, right yeah. at the womb. Yeah, yeah, soccer. Yeah. Well, not that early, but pretty early. <laughs> Are you going to let Benny try different sports? 
Or are you just going to... I'm going to hope that he plays soccer. Okay. But allegedly, this gonna kid's going to be a unit, so... <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. according to the four month checkup. Yeah, those charts, this guy's in the 90th percentile of height and weight. So, seriously? <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's playing for the Thai Cats, who knows? Oh, true. Yeah. Okay, you fair enough. Let Bob Young know you got a linebacker coming in hot. Yeah, let him know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that was going to be my question as to whether or not you played other sports as a kid, but you, you just soccer then. Yeah, played it like basketball, volleyball, all that in like high school and elementary school, but. Natural athlete, it is what it is. I mean, yeah, you know, high, yeah, in high school, it. track, volleyball, football, <laughs> basketball. Pretty much the fastest guy ever alive. Fast, yeah, strongest, I think I set a tallest. couple records. Um, Did you do sports then? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, what sports did you play? I'll have you know, I actually. Um, Played a lot of sports in my high school career, including soccer. Yeah. Actually, FC I've London. I've actually seen you juggling the ball after practice, and thank I you. Think you might be better than some guys on our team. I'm not gonna lie; that's all I have left of my skill, like skills from my soccer career. Yeah. So you know, ball comes around after practice. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, get a couple touches in. Couple nice. touches. So, what was your what was your favorite sport? Probably, probably soccer. But yeah. I think I think toward the end, I was starting to like we just. It was a lot. It was, I was, hey, I was, I was playing pretty competitively. <laughs> okay. What does that mean? <laughs> it just means like I was getting sick and tired <laughs> you, of you it. You were just trying hard. Respectfully, I was getting tired of it. Hopefully, none of my teammates are watching this right now. But <clears throat> I also skied. Okay. Still do. Yeah. So, you know. I've never been skiing. I could teach you, actually. I am a ski instructor. Yeah? That was really? my first job. Okay. Yeah. I went snowboarding once. Oh, God. I mean, I think I was a little too inebriated to be successful at it, but. It was it was fun. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. I mean, when when was this? Uh, I mean, well, obviously, I was the legal drinking age. Of course. Yeah. So, nineteen. I feel like this <laughs> the fact that you led with that is like a little bit suspicious, but we don't promote underage drinking. Of course in not. Gypsy. Not here. Yeah. Not here on the Forge Audio Network. That's it. Okay. Well, um, it wasn't very good, but I feel like I'd want to try it. And then for some reason, it was just like. When the year before I signed my first contract, there was a story of a guy at TFC who went like snowmobiling and got in an accident and like completely did his knee. And I think that just always like scared, yeah. scared me to just be like, yeah, risk versus reward. What's the problem? But like, I think it's cool. Eventually, I would love to do it upon and like your retirement. be successful at it, but we, should, we can wait it out. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Well, you let me know when yeah. you're ready to right. get back in the, fall back on the horse. Okay. <laughs> get back on Cause, the sled. Because I'll, be, yeah. I'll be waiting. Anyways, um, where what were we talking about? Uh, favorite sports. Yeah, favorite sport. Oh, okay. I played like all, almost all of them, and yeah. I'm still mad I didn't get athlete of the year. Actually, you didn't get athlete of the year. I was so mad. I played every sport under the sun. Okay, <laughs> even badminton. Did you get a participation award? I did. Well, I got the spirit one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean that checks out. I thought that that wasn't a chirp at all. You you bring the vibes. Yeah. Keep the morale high. But I just similar to my high school I right, career. Right, as right, we right. Spoke about. As we spoke yeah. about. Did you get any awards in high school? It's a hundred percent attendance record. Just <laughs> on a roll. Yeah, on a roll. What else? What's the what's the one when uh, Valedictorian? That's the one. <laughs> yeah. Unanimous decision. 100%. Are you joking? Obviously. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Like, I feel like that's kind of on <laughs> no, no, no. Like, I feel I mean, like... Yeah, I, wasn't, I just wasn't the, the most attentive hmm. scholar in the building. Until last year. Yeah, until Come I went, went back and finished the old college degree. Tell the people. Pretty much the smartest guy ever. Straight A's? Uh, pretty close. We're not going to say straight A's. I think there was a B plus in there. But like, Okay, so... I will say this. School is a lot easier when you just When do you just try. And you just do it. Do you even have to write papers anymore? Isn't that like the whole AI Well, thing? we were just talking about or that. Are we not allowed to say that on Forge Access? Listen. With, what, what is it? Come Max on, dude. Access. Max <laughs> Access. It's supposed to be a plan. Yeah. With ChatGPT, you mean? Yeah. Is that a... No. I feel like if that was around, I would have been a great student the first time around. Honestly, I here's my thing. Like I've used it to you know spark some ideas, get the formatting rolling. <laughs> Listen. just copied and pasted? No. Sh no. <laughs> <laughs> like when I just write an essay, I sound like a bot. Yeah. So it's like, what are the? Wait, you're saying yours is so <laughs> good that you sound like a bot. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. It's not even that good. It's just like, the way that I. 
with the AI detection, like, I wonder if they think, like, <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> you. I'll email a couple of your professors. Like, what do you know about this student? How smart do you think she is? <laughs> Listen, oh, I feel like I'm not articulating my point correctly right now. You basically just gave, like, the old Ricky Bobby, I wake up and I piss excellence chat to yourself. <laughs> it just is what it is. <laughs> that was unbelievable. <laughs> No, 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 that is not what I'm trying to say. Let me... Let the viewers decide. Did you ever have, like, a subject in high school where you really felt like this was your... Other than morale and vibes? <laughs> uh, it was all usually, like, just based on the teacher. So there was, like, one... Uh, <laughs> I think it was, like, a grade 10 English class. And, like, I hated reading. So like, it's not like I was there for the subject matter, but the teacher, I think she just thought me and Mitch were funny. Oh, okay. And uh, like she was like really mean, but we broke her. Oh, nice, and nice, so, nice. And so she liked us. And I had to do a, I remember I had to do a presentation, or like, a, like a paper or something, a project on uh, Lord of the Flies. <laughs> oh, yeah. And obviously it was like 8 o'clock the night before it was due and I had done nothing. <laughs> and uh, my, my solution to that was... <laughs> I just, like, went in in the basement somewhere in, like, the crawl space, pulled out some old uh, action figures, <laughs> and I put a camera on the thing, and I, like, reenacted Lord of the Flies. <laughs> and so it was just me, like, yelling behind the camera, and I didn't tell anyone about it. And then it was like, all right, you have to go up and do, like, your PowerPoint presentation. And I was just like, I'm going to need a TV. <laughs> and she was like, oh, what are you, gonna, like, what is this? Are you serious? Just rolled in the TV, popped that in, and I think everyone just, like, peed their pants laughing the whole time. And then at the very end of the presentation, I just put some, like, awful photo of this other kid in my class who just, like, banged up from the weekend before going around on Facebook. Classic. Just ended it. And honestly, I think that was, like, one of my best grades in high school. Crushed it. Shout out Miss Patson. Are you serious? Yeah, you should ask Mitch about it. Crushed it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Have you not talked about that on your podcast? No. Out of it. That, don't really, uh, we don't really go through There's it. no, okay, okay. Wow. Yeah, so. So did you have one of those, like, TVs that you, like, rolled out? Oh, yeah, the like the pregnant then... ones? That you, like, rolled <laughs> out. Yeah, rolled that in, and everyone was just like, oh, What God. the heck I'm is happening? I'm pretty sure the teacher was like, she was like, you're, are you serious? Like, you actually have something? Yeah. I was like, I gotcha. This is going to be good. Like, she didn't believe me. So it wasn't a paper. It was a presentation that you yeah, had to do. I think it was like, a, like more of like a PowerPoint. You had to like write a bunch of stuff. Do I, I don't know. And I just chose to do it this way. <laughs> so you reenacted Lord of the Flies. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I would have got 100%, but I didn't follow the rubric. Right. So but you still partial marks on that, but content Do you remember what you got? Like somewhere? I think it, I think it was like a, an a? a B plus or an A. I mean, it seemed easier than the other option. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to read the book in a night? Give me the Coles notes and we'll keep it moving. Sparks notes. <laughs> Classic yeah. Sparks notes. <laughs> yeah. OG internet shout out so right So handy. Yeah. Kids these days don't know about Sparks they don't, they don't know. They don't know. Unreal. Morning routine. Describe it. Like wake up. Alarm like goes off. Here. Alarm goes off. Yeah. The first thing I do is have a drink of water. Like a full glass of water. Really? Apparently there's like a, like hydration. It's like a bit, like just like really like getting away <laughs> from it. Is, uh, apparently is hydration is one of, like a apparently big. it's important so I don't know <laughs> yeah like it's like the first thing you do is just like do that make a cup of coffee sometimes I have like an overnight oats situation nice like, real nice. real like small breakfast sometimes I don't necessarily eat breakfast because we train pretty early and then just drive in come in here start the day <laughs> but what about your son do you address him in the morning or nah he's sleeping by the time I'm leaving so I usually okay. just let him keep going overnight oats what a little tap on the head <laughs> 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 Good job, buddy. Yeah, something light, like overnight oats, maybe like a piece of toast or something. Not a lot of appetite. You're not at a morning 6 person. Well, not six a.m. I think I, after eight a.m. I'm a morning person. Eight a.m. is like the day's already going. Are you serious? Yeah, it's weird. So I've like awful sleeper my whole life, but like okay, always, see that makes been, so much but sense. Always been like I would prefer to like wake up and just be tired than like like sleeping until like eleven. I just feel like a degen. <laughs> like it's just awful. Like I don't, like, I don't I'd like rather just be either. shattered and like alive. Yeah. And, like, go shattered. shattered and alive, baby. That's what this podcast should be called. Shattered and alive. Um <laughs> then like just like get through it and then versus like the big sleep. And we got guys on our team who legitimately cannot function in the morning. Like it's so, really they're so name sleepy. drop. No. Come on. No. Really? You'll 
Ask a couple questions. He'll figure it okay, out. Okay, okay. Let me yeah. go examine who's shattered and alive tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I feel like it's a lot easier being with a, a fellow podcaster. So this was... This Someone was in the biz. Work. Someone in the biz. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe next week you'll no longer be in the biz. Maybe not even tomorrow. <laughs> we never know. It's a day by day thing. So, will you come back on Max Access though? Yeah, I mean, you're the one who seems to think this is a poor episode. Obviously, Honestly, no, 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 no. I want to keep it, you know, and keep yeah, short keep and sweet. It, short and sweet. Keep it engaging. You're the one going on about your Nobel Prize writing, <laughs> and then walking it back. You cut that. There's gonna be some questions. Yeah, I'm kind of mad that you brought it back up. Because it's now hard to cut it when it just keeps coming back <laughs> in the episode. <laughs> okay, no, seriously though, bring me back on Captain's Log because I want to. I mean, talk I about asked you to come on tomorrow before this started and you said no, so. You know why? Because <laughs> I'm a scholar. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, you said we'll, we'll do it next week. Yeah, we want to have Jan talk about the, the summit. Yeah. I heard it was great. It was great. Yeah, I think mm-hmm. that's really important and it's cool. It's nice that I don't know if any other teams in the league do that, mm-hmm. but. That was the second one, right? Yeah, second one. It's awesome. Second annual. So, yeah, come on, tell the people about it. Tell the viewer about it. Just (laughs) get it out there, you know? (laughs) All right, stay tuned, guys. That's it. Thanks for coming on, guys. Thanks for having me. (laughs) Thanks for listening to Max Access on the Forge Audio Network. If you like what you heard, please like, follow, subscribe, comment, and share.